heavy, exuberant, downright indefatigable. Debbie Reynolds has been called everything from the all-American girl to Miss Showbiz. But this bubbly, vivacious performer, who bounced her way through scores of great MGM films, openly admitted that she never had the ambition to be a great actress. I want to have fun and laughs and romance. Debbie knew that the studios and moviegoers loved her because she was cute, cute, cute. But when MGM announced that they were looking for a gutsy, rambunctious actress to play the lead in the unsinkable Molly Brown, Debbie, who truly identified with the character, was determined to land the role. Sure, I'm suckered, and I might give out, but I won't give in. Born to a simple Texas family during the Depression, Debbie knew her spirit and determination in building her Hollywood career matched the spirit and determination of the real Molly Brown, an all-American backwoods girl who survived the Colorado floods, struck it rich, and became one of the heroines of the Titanic disaster. That ship may be down, but not me. I'm unsinkable. MGM's director for the picture, Charles Walters, was determined to land a hot star like Shirley MacLaine for the role of Molly, even though MacLaine was under contract with another studio. When Debbie expressed the desire to play Molly, he told her that she was wrong for the part and much too short for the role. Debbie answered sarcastically, just how short is the role? After a major altercation with Shirley MacLaine and a year of hectic negotiations, Debbie finally got the part she wanted. I want a house with a looking out window over the valley. One looking out window for the lady! So Debbie became Molly, and Harve Presnell recreated his Broadway role as Molly's husband, Johnny. Audiences love the duo's interpretation of the Browns, who embark on a feverish effort to become accepted in high society, at home and abroad. Molly, dear, you are funny. <laughs> here I'm funny, in Denver I'm vulgar. I guess it's like, here you eat snails, at home we step on them. <laughs> the exuberance the real Browns had shown was mirrored by the exhaustive efforts of the cast and production crew. Debbie explained that she had never worked so hard physically on a movie as she did in Molly Brown. In fact, one intense musical number, He's My Friend, had to be shot in one take. Director Charles Walters utilized the method of filming with two cameras to keep within budget. The seven-minute production number was exhausting. At the end, Debbie collapsed and one of the dancers fainted, but they had done it in one take. The unsinkable Molly Brown was an enormous box office hit and brought Debbie an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. She also became the number two box office draw in the world for 1965. Although Julie Andrews took the Oscar for her role in Mary Poppins, Debbie Reynolds experienced her proudest moment when astronauts Gus Grissom and John Young named their Gemini space flight capsule the Molly Brown. I can be anything I want. Well past the age of playing cute, Debbie concluded that she wouldn't have too many starring roles to look forward to. As she explained to Shirley MacLaine during those early negotiations, Molly would be Debbie's last chance to shine. Molly, you're quite a woman. And shine she did. Debbie Reynolds brought not only guts and exuberance to the role of Molly Brown, she shared her passion and sensitivity with audiences worldwide and made the unsinkable Molly Brown one of her best. Backwoods Debbie Reynolds barnstorms her way into high society and maritime disaster as the unsinkable Molly Brown, Monday at 5.